Okay, meditation is a very important part of the Don't See Coaching, and you may have your own meditation practice that you wish to share. This is just one that I use. And what you want to do is you want to figure out where the tension is, usually somewhere around the nose or eyes. When you breathe in, you're breathing into that tension. You're just keeping it in focus. And then when you breathe out, you're allowing it to stay or go. It's, 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 it's up to the tension. And the reason we do this is because there are thoughts and emotions that we may not want to be aware of. So with the breathe in, we're, we're teaching ourselves to be with the tension physically, but it can be a thought as well. It's causing tension. So we're with it, and then we're saying it can stay or go. We're not having an opinion. If we feel like it has to go, we make a plan. We look for a wonderful self-image. And if we um, want it to stay, then we have grasping. We also want to practice speaking very slowly, um, but not vocalizing. This is similar to how actors prepare for a play. So the words that we can choose are ah, face, A-H-F-A-C-E. Awareness, humility, forgiveness, acceptance, compassion, equanimity. We're moving from awareness to equanimity. The Buddha spoke about awareness and equanimity, but never, as far as I know, delineated how you get from one to the other. So I would recommend or suggest humbly that it's forgiving, accepting, and finding compassion for yourself. And then you're in equanimity. Because if you don't have humility, if you don't have forgiveness, if you don't have acceptance and you don't have compassion, how are you going to have equanimity? And I think those things have to come first. So we're just going to, you'll see me mouthing it, but that's the idea. So Obviously, the patient knows how to say these words, but the idea of saying it slowly is to really help the putamen, the basal ganglia, the cerebellum, get in touch with where the articulators are, where the teeth and the tongue and the jaw and the lips, where they all are, just while you're staying totally calm and focused. And thus, if you enter a stutter, you may remember to move to equanimity because you've been practicing it with the articulators. 